name is Gilbert Bet. Um, I think when you talk about my background, my background has been, um, it's a long history. Uh, I started as a high school teacher a long time ago. And uh, I used to teach uh, computer studies and mathematics. Uh, when I used to teach uh, computer studies, we used to do projects on Microsoft Access, you know Microsoft Access? Yeah. Then I developed a great interest um, with databases. Uh, I developed different kind of databases for school management systems, library management system, uh, stores management system, uh, fee collection system, and uh, more importantly, the one for uh, report form, the academic system. Um, one day, I met with a man called Motisha, who used to work in Doman's Coffee here in uh, uh, Murana. Uh, this guy was a database administrator, so he was looking for someone who would develop a system for, system for Doman's. Uh, I had the opportunity of creating the system, and I think it's still working up to now because uh, I did some updates last year for them. Um, then I met another guy who is a software developer who really challenged me and uh, he told me uh, Microsoft Access is no longer in use, please you have to have skill. You know as when we were in Canvas we did uh, a COBOL, you know COBOL? Common Business Oriented Languages, Pascal, C, those were uh, command line uh, languages. So I developed a lot of interest. Then I started learning Python. Um, I did Python and I realized Python was even much so easier. Then uh, after Python, uh, I realized there was a new program. I think I'm one of the pioneers in Kenya called Closure Program. I don't know if you know Closure. Uh, this is another program, another programming language. Uh, that is very good and well paying. So I was going through the internet and checking which programming language is well paying. So I learned Joshua. Uh, after that, then I went to uh, Java and JavaScript. Um, then I got an opportunity to work as a freelancer for Edureka. While at Edureka, I realized they were having so many courses like DevOps uh, engineering. So I went uh, online and searched which college in Kenya offers uh, depths of engineering. Unfortunately, it was all the one, Moringa School. That's how I found myself in Moringa School. Uh, Moringa School has a massive will actually guiding and uh, teaching their students. Um, I learned a lot uh, in terms of depth of engineering. Uh, we were talking about continuous integration, continuous development of software development. Um, that is when I actually had an opportunity of collaborating with my friends. I am now a very nice uh, collaborator, I can collaborate with teams. I'm in a position to manage a greater team now. I'm in a position to uh, work uh, independently and also helping other people uh, to work in a team. There are so many things that we did at Moringa that has really helped me. Uh, number one is about creativity and um, in, in, in my previous role as a software engineer and also as an educator, um, it really opened up my mind. Then I really wanted to be a dev of engineer, that's why I applied. So through collaboration, through thinking skills, through creativity, that is uh, some of the things, or those are some of the things that I learned in uh, um, I had three projects, apart from the one that I had in, in class. Um, I had another project uh, that I was given by someone in the US and uh, I was actually, it's a finance project, an app uh, that I was actually looking at how uh, people are integrating uh, the project. So. I was acting as a service reliability engineer where I was checking before the deployment how is the project actually running, how is the project uh, or how is this program going to be used by the users all the, all the day. Uh, another project that I really uh, worked on is a, an academic uh, system. 
You see, I also forgot to tell you that um, uh, the TSE system, I had a hand in uh, this development of the TSE uh, program. Uh, I also had a hand in this, um, the current system that they are using for registration, you know, the registration, the NEC registration system. Uh, I am one of those people who are behind the creation of the system. Um, so those are some of the projects. Uh, other projects I won't say because uh, they are government projects, and um, I was uh, I was in charge of uh, checking on the security issues and uh, how it can be secured from the public. Yeah, uh, before I joined uh, Moringa School, uh, there are things that I never knew, new things that I I learned in Moringa School. Um, there are things about continuous integration of a program, the deployments of programs, infrastructure of a program. Those are new things that I really learned from Moringa School. In fact, immediately after my graduation, uh, when I gave out the certificate that I got from Moringa, um, I got an opportunity of being promoted to the next level, which is a good thing for me and also um, a good thing for Moringa because I'm proud of Moringa. Um, software development informs a lot of technicalities. You really need to upskill uh, your courses and then the best way for you to upskill that is I will advise uh, people to join Moringa School. Uh, I did my Oracle database in another institution. Uh, I don't want to name it but it's here in town and well known for uh, database or Oracle uh, database and when I compare the two institutions they are totally uh, two different things so I will actually advise uh, young and uh, upcoming developers to really upskill their, um, their, their efforts, work extra hard to ensure that uh, they join Moringa. Moringa is a school uh, Moringa is also a school where people if the people want to really uh, become uh, sufficient with technology and they can join Moringa School. Um, if you are a back-end engineer, for example, you want to do back-end and you want to be a senior back-end engineer, those people would want to know what you really in a position to do. Are you able to handle, um, the, are you able to, or do you understand the infrastructure of the system? Can you be in a position to actually handle uh, its integration, can you be in a position to collaborate with others, can you be in a position to deploy, are you in a position to do uh, the security, those are the things that actually are challenging and most employers are looking for those. So one of the things that I was not or had, had not learned is about this DevOps engineering, about the infrastructure, about the de deployment, um, that is why I got uh, the promotion that I have currently. Uh, what makes Moringa unique is uh, only two things, collaboration and project-based uh, ideas that they have. Okay. There is a lot of collaboration, there is a lot of project-based that is actually aligned to industry uh, careers and all that. I will tell them not to stop, I will tell them uh, not even to think twice. Uh, Going for DevOps is a nice thing. Uh, the only top paying jobs that we have now, uh, like me, uh, after DevOps engineer, I want to be a, a site reliability engineer. Those are, that is the well paid job. I will advise all of them to really look and think twice of upskilling uh, the skills that they currently have do DevOps and then they should also be having that certification. One, uh, being in Moringa School will really help you understand these things. The teachers, uh, the tutors, the lecturers are friendly. Uh, they are always there, they are always there for you to support you. They will always assist you, they will always actually talk to you. They have time for the learners and that is how we really uh, love our class for DevOps. We have those guys. They were always ready to be with us even up to 12 a.m. in the morning. Mm -hmm. Moringa School is the best. Yeah.